Hey YouTube. Uh, in the AR-15 community, or I guess among people that shoot 5.56, five, um, when you go below about a 14 and a half inch barrel, that's when you're really starting to lose a lot of velocity, especially down there with the 10.3s. And in the shotgun community, um, most tactical shotguns, if you will, have an 18 and a half inch barrel. And not a lot of I did a lot of Googling and YouTubing, and I couldn't find a whole lot of information about what happens to the velocity with a 12-gauge. Um, when does that begin to drop off? If you go to a 14-inch SBS, are you losing a lot of velocity compared to, uh, say, an 18-inch, or rather, 18.5-inch uh, shotgun? That's what I'm going to endeavor to find out today using low-recoil ammunition. I've got LE-132 double-op buck, and I've also got the Federal Low Recoil True Ball. I'm going to fire and chronograph five rounds uh, of each, five rounds through my 18.5-inch Supernova Tactical, and five rounds through the Benelli M4 SBS with a 14-inch barrel. I made sure to get uh, ammunition all from the same lot number, respectively. So that, because uh, I have noticed variances between uh, lots of shotgun ammo of about 50 foot per second or so. I mean, it's meaningful. Anyway, uh, I'm going to chronograph this. The slugs are going to be chronographed uh, roughly three meters from the chronograph. And the buckshot, I'm going to have to get to within one meter of the chronograph. <clears throat> That's so that the wad and the buffer uh, material and all that don't confuse the chronograph by separating or. Um, any other issues. It really shouldn't with the flight control, but that's just kind of the standard for chronographing buckshot that I've been able to observe is uh, one meter from the front screen. And there's our chronograph. I'm going to go ahead. I've got a little makeshift prop to hold my camera up here. Hopefully the muzzle blast doesn't knock it over. If it does, we'll get a pause and I'll reset it. Anyway, um, I'm going to fire five rounds of slug true ball from the M4 14 inch barrel, uh, immediately followed by five rounds of the true ball slug from the 18 and a half inch supernova. And I know one of these is semi auto and one of these is pump. I can't do anything about that. The difference shouldn't be that great, if any, but uh, it does exist. Anyway, uh, these are both cylinder bore, no choke. And like I say, uh, I'm going to fire five rounds of the True Ball Slug Low Recoil, which is rated at 1,300 foot per second by Federal uh, from the 14 inch gun, and then the same thing again from the 18 and a half inch gun. And immediately thereafter, I'm going to reload each with the Low Recoil Buckshot, the LE-132 Double Ot, and I'm going to repeat in the same sequence, although closing into one meter as stated, uh, firing the 14 inch five rounds and then the 18 and a half for five rounds. All right. I was just kind of looking at the screen while doing that. I didn't see a whole lot of difference there. I'll have to rewatch the video and run the averages on it. But uh, that certainly didn't look like the difference that you'd see between a 14-inch M4 and an 18-inch M4 for sure uh, of the 5.56 variety. So moving into one meter and using the M4 14 inch barrel SPS. Uh oh, had 
notice a screen malfunction there. Hold on. Obviously that round clocked faster than 1338. I'm going to back up to three meters for this. Um, that flight control wad stood, should stay together. I think the muzzle blast is going to cause problems if I don't scoot back. Now we've got the 18 and a half inch gun. I'm only going to fire four rounds through it since I only managed to chronograph four rounds through the other so we don't mess up the averages. Uh, maybe five, we'll see. We'll just do four. Well, there you have it. If you've got a calculator, you can work that out. Um, I didn't see a whole lot of difference between the two. I I'm actually kind of surprised at how little difference there was. And tomorrow, I am going to chronograph full power buckshot and full power slugs and see if, uh, if the shorter barrel becomes an issue with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I hope this was at least somewhat informative.